So just a quick tutorial here. Um, this is our current make file. And when we exit out of this, um, so there I controlled seed and you can see some errors there. And here when we quit, it removes. So um, the idea for my make file was that we were gonna have it always auto run and auto clean. We're gonna change that in this tutorial. So let's open up our make file. And nope, don't wanna do that. Okay, so a couple things we're going to change. Here for all, it's running rogue, run, and clean. We're gonna switch it to just running rogue. So save that. Okay, so now all it's gonna do is compile. The other thing that we're gonna change is, I missed kind of like a big a big part of, um, of what a make file does. So the reason why I had it auto clean was because it wasn't always recompiling when we hit in make. Sometimes we would get our old version still coming out. So what we need to do is add a dependency for this target. So all is the first thing that's gonna run. It's gonna run rogue. Really, we don't need all, but whatever. So all is the first thing that's gonna run. It's going to run rogue. Rogue is going to um, well, it's going to run this command right here. Um, so what we can do is if we just copy this dollar sources and we put it up here. So remember our dollar sources is our variable for all our C files. Okay, so now Rogue has this, I guess you can call it dependency on all our C files. What that means is for each C file, if, it, if a C file has changed, it will recompile our rogue program. Um, so if we don't change anything, it won't recompile the program. Now we, unfortunately right now how it's set up is if we change one C file, it will recompile all our C files into to one object. So one thing that we could do at some point is we could split it up so that um, each C file produces a .o file and then the compiler links them all together. Um, we don't have that set up now, but whatever, it's okay. So let's just save this and then make sure that works. Um, what the heck is that? Control L, okay. So now what we can do is we can make to compile and it's gonna say nothing done for all. So that means, yeah, there's nothing to do. So now if we go into one of our C files and we can just open up level, sure, why not? Um, and we just say, let's, let's do that. So we've modified one of the files. We now make and it will recompile them, okay? So, and then to run it, we can just type in make run and it runs. No. Okay, hope that makes sense. And in our next tutorial, we will talk about pathfinding using A star. Yeah. Well, we'll get to A star. <laughs>